Hello, welcome to the queue for Operation From Russia With Love. It is turned 16, January 44, and the winter is harsh. Let's move on to what we're gonna buy. Uh, we had 63, but we lost two to convoying. Uh, down to 61, so we'll pick up two militia that will be placed in other places. Uh, in Romania, two infantry, one militia, two fortifications. Um, there's an opportunity for Russia to blitz around the side and take Romania without going over the one fortification. Uh, would be a costly move, but uh, I would consider it. So let's finish both those fortifications. Uh, we've got an infantry in Berlin, two infantry in Paris. Warsaw, we're gonna finish the, lo the fortification, two infantry. Western Germany, two infantry, one marine, and one jet. So, that is the purchase. Uh, we're gonna bring a new tech on, just for grins. Um, next turn, we start rolling for the variable ending, so I'm seriously doubting that any of these techs, I guess artillery's on stage two, so it might get done, but it won't get used if it is done. But for grins, let's get a red and a black dice. And black dice is the uh, artillery. Um, so nine and a six. So submarine warfare. I don't even have them. Oh, I do have one. Uh, where are we here? Anti-submarine warfare. All right. So the other two are an eight and a nine. And the eight uh, will be the armor. And uh, heavy bombers will be the nine. And the white dice is the tanks. It succeed. Oh, they both succeed. All right. So uh, they go up. They both go up to two. So there's a possibility they get done, but won't get in the game. All right. That's that. Uh, we got our usual stupid convoying. Uh, we only have two, though. We've got this uh, advanced sub here in M2. It's got to get out of dodge. Uh, one, two, three, up to A28. And then we've got one here in A19. We're going to get away from that uh, seaplane. And another aspect, too. We're going to A21. So that'll be the two convoy attacks. Uh, you can see the uh, airplane the dice. Um, our next phase of combat is all aerial. So first we're going to take a, a strategic bomber. One two, three, four, five, and he'll have four left. We're gonna hit the Marine and Mountain in Thessaly, and then the bomber out of Romania, one, two, three, and he'll have six left. Um, I was all set up to do the attack there, but the med has gotten worse, so uh, we've got to uh, forget about the Russians, I guess, and uh, help Italy out, so we're gonna go after these transports, we're going to bomb the port. Um, then we're going to try and take out these two map fighters and give us the opportunity to go after any new transports that may pop up on the next turn. Um, so the scramble orders were given out for these three attacks, and the Allies chose to scramble into A-22. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. What's this one, A-23? <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure it was A-22. Well, I'm, hopefully I don't get that wrong. <laughs> All right, so let's move some planes. So we have here in uh, Normandy three fighters. Two of them are coming out and hitting this uh, shipyard right here, in, which is, I guess, at the tip of southern England. I've got a third fighter, which is coming from Paris. If I can pick him up out of there. One, two, three. So that's the three fighters. The bomber hitting the shipyard is coming from Western Germany, and he is in the screen, and he flies around and has two left. So that is the port attack. Um, we'll see what we can do there. They are scrambling into A-22, and I'm going to pull that out and set that out on the side. Where can you see that in here? I'll just set it here in A27. So they'll have two fighters, U.S. fighters. They have the British fighter on map. And they said that they want to choose casualties after the battle, but 
you really can't because the defender has to choose the casualties right off the bat, not on how the battle goes. <laughs> uh, so we'll, I'll just take them the best we can. Um, Coastal Defense Ship and the French Destroyer. I mean, obviously, the any planes get hit, it'll be on the, the planes. Um, so we've got one fighter left in Normandy, which will come out and go on map just in case we survive the battle. In A-22. Is that all? Yeah, that's still in the... All right, so that was the one that had five left. All right, so we've got a one, and that's the plane from down here on Sardinia, which comes across one, two, three, four, five, so he'll have one left. So I'll put the one by him, because he'll be the first casualty, obviously. And now I have two threes, and I gotta check my list to make sure I get all this right, what I told them was coming in there. Three fighters and attack. All right, so from Germany is one fighter and one tactical bomber, which come uh, one, two, three. So they'll have three left on these. All right, so that's that's going to be that battle. The other battles are pretty straight up. Uh, now in A23, our seaplanes coming out here. We'll go on map, obviously. We've got a now, let me see here. We're going to have two fighters and two jets. All right, so this fighter comes out. It has four left. Part of our Russian bombing campaign that was aborted. Two jets and a fighter. Go everywhere. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and they'll have one movement left. So I'll just put them behind the ones. And uh, our ship here, the battle cruiser, can go one through the canal, two, three, into the battle. All right, so that was, that's the action, right? <clears throat> Let me go and grab all the red markers. Uh, that one's gone. All right, I think we've got one, two, three, four air battles, two convoys. So let's start off with the stupid convoying because that's that's what we like to do. All right, I think I'll just bring this out here for all the battles. I didn't bring the big tray over from the other table. All right, so what we need is a red and a black die. And then we need a defense. So red is the attacker. So the first uh, will be the sub in A21, which is a regular sub. So it'll be a minus one to the red. Nothing? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't, I don't understand. I really don't. I really do not understand. All right. And A28 is the advanced sub, which is a plus one to the red dice. It's nothing. Um, and had um, Global War Enthusiasts wish to scramble those sub or those two transports if they survived out of A21, I would have rolled the convoy last so that my German sub would have been there to destroy them. Um, but since he did opted not to scramble them out for that attack, um, they're in port to be hammered. So let's. Let's go on with that one right now. So I need regular dice for that. All right, so we've got three fighters attacking the two transports in port. And those are at six, six and a four. So those two transports are dead. The downside is now they've got three anti-aircraft shots at me. All right, and these are at three. One hit, so I'm gonna lose a fighter. Attack the port. That is not uh, what I wanted. All right, so here's the bomber on the port. It's just a 1D6, and we will roll uh, a D12 for the anti-aircraft for the defense of the port. So five damage uh, on the port, which, you know, is good. Didn't lose another bomber, so. But I did lose a fighter to anti-aircraft, so that kind of sucks. 
All right, so we can get rid of that dice. Um, damage on the port. The next easy battle here, uh, there's just a fighter on map. There's nothing scrambled to it. So let's roll the two jets first because that should take care of business. Two threes, excellent. All right, so the fighter on map returns fire at a six. Ten, that's even better. All right, so that means that British fighter on map is gone. All right, I can't get the map marker up. There we go. All right, so down here, we're going to try and get the U.S. paid back for all their terrorized bombings they do. So we'll have six at two on uh, those two units there. So there's three, four, five, six. All right. Six at two. One, two, three. So we wipe them out. How does that feel, America? All right. I'm sure uh, Panzer J is liking that because he's been the recipient of most of the, Well, no, I guess Italy took a beating too. <clears throat> All right. So that is it for those forces. Uh, the last battle is here in uh, A-22. So... There are no first strikes, so we've got three sixes and a seven. And the seven is a target select if it, if it rolls low enough. Oh, nuts. One hit. This battle is crapola. All right, so the one hit would have to be a plane. I don't know why they would want to keep the map, but they they kind of have to decide now before I roll. Um, I think we'll, we'll just take the U.S. plane on the outside chance that they have a good roll. So they'll have three sixes for the planes. Man, that did not go well at all. Uh, six for the coastal defense sub or ship and a four for the destroyer. So I lose three of my four planes. Well, 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 well. That is life in from Russia with love. This game has nothing but sucked with dice all game long. All right, so I think uh, we'll keep that um, tactical bomber. That's the end of that battle. All right, so the tactical bomber has a movement of three left, uh, which will fly one, two into Paris. Uh, we have two fighters with a movement of four. The bomber has to land in Normandy, so we'll put that on that card over there. Um, the two fighters, where will they go with a movement of four left? Um, uh, so one will go one, two into Paris, and then the next one will go where? I guess into Normandy. All right. <clears throat> so fighter bomber lands in Normandy. Fighter lands in Paris. Uh, we've got a fighter here at four. And um, he'll come out. Is Paris a better spot? Yeah, we'll go with Paris for that guy. So he is done. These, uh, I, how about they be on the camera? Fighter and two jets have one left, so they will land in Belgium. He'll stay on map. He is in that C zone.
All right, so that is it for, oh, no, we got the two bombers to land. This bomber has four, so he'll go one, two, three, four. This one has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that will be that. Get those dice off. All right, so now the rest is non-com. That's already done. So we've got one infantry in northern Italy, which goes into Rome. An infantry in southern France that goes into northern Italy. Two infantry from Paris come down here to southern France. And I think we were going to put the artillery down there. Yeah, the two mobile or self-propelled artillery as well. They are very flexible. All right, so the next move, I've got an air transport here in Western Germany. You can fly seven, all right? Yeah, because of the long range in the air. Oh, no, it can fly eight, all right? Because I'm at an air base with long range aircraft. All right, so one, two, three, four. Drops him off in Rome and flies back to Western Germany. <laughs> As I'm looking, I didn't think that was on there. All right, so we got the other air transport taking the other uh, infantry northward. One, two, three into Helsinki, dropping him off, and one, two, three back. So that is those two arrows. All right, what else do we have? Uh, we're going to grab this Marine and this paratrooper on the transports. We'll head up here, go in port in eastern Germany. But, but before we do, we'll drop them off in western Germany, that Marine and uh, Airborne Infantry. All right, so now what do we have here? That's a train. I was going to do the train movements last. Uh, maybe not. Let's, let's knock the train out. So this airborne here in Romania will rail up here to Bavaria. Uh, what else we got? We got an infantry in Lithuania, which will rail into Rome. Off this card, we've got an anti-aircraft gun, which will rail from Normandy to Romania. And our last rail movement is an infantry from Normandy into Rome. All right, so that's the rail movements. Those are all done. Get that off of there. We've got, oh, we got one more rail movement. Is that right? We did one, two, three, four. So I put out five rails for some reason. Yeah, I did. So he's going nowhere. That means I don't mean to move him up there. All right, so into Berlin is one Panzer Grenadier, or Grenadier, one Panzer Grenadier, Grenadier from Eastern Germany goes into Western Poland. Out of Konig comes two more Panzer Grenadiers and one medium armor. All right, we've got a cavalry in Warsaw, which will come out one, two, into Bohemia. Uh, don't need that anymore. I've got from Slovakia, uh, one, two. So these three Panzer Grenadiers will come into Western Yugoslavia along with two of the armor, one, two. I ran out of yellow markers, so I had to use that orange chip to make sure I see it. All right. So we've got two infantry from Slovakia, which step into Romania. I'm going to move that armor where medium armor here in Slovakia moves into Austria, along with these two advanced mechs from Bohemia into Austria. 
All right, so I got a mountain infantry in central Romania moving into eastern Yugoslavia along with two medium armor from Bulgaria. All right, and sliding from Bulgaria into Romania is two infantry and two self-propelled artillery. And fleeing Romania is two cavalry and they will come over one, two into Western Yugoslavia. And I believe that is it. I'm looking around for any other markers and I don't see them. All right. should be it. There was something I was thinking that I was going to do, but I kind of forgot. Sorry for the, the silence there. All right, let's place uh, our units. Well, let's do all three of those forts and get those fully functional here in Warsaw. There in Romania. I seriously doubt that that was an option uh, for the Russia, but I, I would have considered it, so if I consider it, then <clears throat> it probably, you know, it, it could possibly happen, so. All right, so two infantry into Warsaw. Makes me think that that guy should have moved. Uh, we will move him. This Panzer Grenadier that was in Warsaw will move over one, two into Bohemia. Sorry about that. All right, so in Romania, two infantry, one militia. So that gives us our two max that we can have there. And there's two more infantry. All right, so that's our free fortification. I will just put that out since it's in my hand. We'll go into A29 on Normandy. So Normandy is protected on all three sides, just in case. I mean, I mean it sure looks like Italy's the target. I took the dice. I have to roll that at a six. All right, Berlin gets an infantry. All right, Paris gets two infantry. Western Germany, two infantry, Marine, and a jet fighter. All right, so we're stacking up here. All right, so at least two militia. And one of those was going into Denmark. And one was going here into Finland. Or were they both? No, they're right. They were both going up here. One into Helsinki and one into southern Finland. Um... Lapland does not touch there, so there's no possible attack there. All right, so we're good there. That is it. Let's roll that six for the Spanish recruitment roll. It fails this turn. That's fine. Um, all right, so let's do some cash. We didn't do anything that went up. Uh, on the board, so we are at 56. So we have 56, and our bonus now is at three because we lost Romania. And unfortunately, there was no counterattack for that large Russian stack there, so that is it. Now let's uh, do a little recap, and we shall see um, in Normandy is five infantry, militia, fighter, medium bomber, 
in Paris, four infantry, light tank, medium tank, two fighters, tactical, and a militia. Southern Italy is one infantry, southern France, two infantry, two artillery, or self-propelled artillery. <clears throat> In Rome now, two, four, six infantry. Western Yugoslavia is two medium armor, three panzer grenadiers, two cavalry. Austria is two advanced mech, one armor, medium armor. Romania now is, there's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 infantry, two militia, two self-propelled artillery, a glorious tank destroyer, and an anti-aircraft gun. Uh, Warsaw, that is three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten infantry, one militia, two artillery, and eastern Poland, three Panzer Grenadiers, one medium armor. Um, what else was of interest? I guess Ger Western Germany is two infantry, two Marines, two paratroopers, one strategic bomber, one jet, two air transports. Berlin is an infantry, Panzer Grenadier, two militia. I don't think anything else is really interesting. Um, we did add a couple militia here in Finland. And uh, no change down there in Africa. No subs down there anymore. We're down to one sub. So convoy rating is almost extinct. There we have it. Russia is up next.